ordering numbers to 1,000. This is less than 9.9. .9. We can put three-digit numbers in order from least to greatest by putting them in counting order. If we see 4, 2, 1, 3, well, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 in counting order. If we saw 204, 202, 201, 203, it would be 201, 202, 203, 204 in counting order, wouldn't it? If the hundreds are the same, we compare the tens and we look at the tens. If the tens are also the same, we compare and look at the ones. We think of which number will come before after or between the given numbers. Which one comes before, after, or between when we count? So here I have a number line, and you can see it starts with 350, and it ends with 358. See? It starts with 350, and it ends with 358. 355, right here, is after 354. We say this number after 354 when we count. This number 353 is before 354. We say it before we say 354 when we're counting. 354 is in between 353 and 355. It's right in the middle, isn't it? So let's see if we can write the number that comes after these numbers. What number comes after 113? Well, what comes after 13? Well, 14, right? So this would be 114. How about here? What comes after 562? What comes after 62? 63. So this would be 563. What comes after 379? Well, what comes after 79 when we count 78, 79, 80. So this would be 380. What comes after 499? Do you know? If we added one more to this to get the next counting number, if you said 500, you're right. After 499 comes 500, just like after 99 comes 100. Okay? So let's write the number that comes before these numbers. What number comes before 431? Before 431 would be 430, wouldn't it? That's one less. It's right before it. What comes before 120? We can think what comes before 20. 19. So that means 119 comes before 120. See? What comes before 266? Well, what comes before 66? 65. So this would be 265. What comes before 999? What's the number that comes before it when we're counting? It would be one less, wouldn't it? If you said 998, you're right. That's one less than a 9, isn't it? Now let's write the number that comes between. What comes between 501 and 503? Do you know what the missing number is? If you said 502, you're right. 501, 502, 503. We're counting. Now what comes here between 829 and 831? When we count, we say 829, then 830, then 831. What comes between 699 and 701? What comes after 699 and what comes before 701? If you said 700, you're right. It's one more than this one and it's one less than that one. It comes right in between it when we count. How about this one? 
What number comes in between 296 and 298? What number comes between a 6 and an 8? Well, 7. So, because the 100s and the 10s are the same, we look at the 1s, and we know it's 297. See? Let's see if we can write the missing numbers for these. We have 347, 348. Do you know what comes next? 349. Then what would come next? He said 350, you're right. What about now? What are these missing numbers? 176, then it goes to 178, 179, then there's a missing number in 181. So which one goes there? When we're counting, what number do we say after 176? If you said 177, you're right. And then it would be 178, 179. Do you know what that one would be? 180. All right, let's see if we could do this one. Now we need to know what comes before 223. Then we've got 224 and a missing number, 226, 227. So what number comes before 223? It'd be one less. When we're counting, it's the number we would say before 223. It would be 222. Now we've got 223, 224. Do you know what goes there? If you said 225, you're right. We can see that the ones place is going up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the ones place. See that? Now let's try this one. We've got a missing number here and a missing number at the end. We've got 954, 955, do you know what goes there? If you said 956, you're right. 957, 958. What's missing? 959. See how the ones place just kept going up by one because we're counting? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, and the hundreds and the tens stayed the same. And the next number, well, then the tens would change because we're at 959. That would be 960, wouldn't it? All right, let's see if we can do a critical thinking problem. We need to match the pennies, the amount of pennies, to the correct person. So we've got some clues here. Here's our clues, and we need to draw lines to match these. It says, Emma has fewer pennies than Tala. Hmm. Well, let's look at our amounts here. We have 476... 401 and 452. So let's put these in size order from least to greatest. Which of these is the least, the smallest amount? Do you know? They all have four in the hundreds place, but let's look at the tens place. What has the smallest tens? The 401, doesn't it? So we know that that's the smallest. Now, what is the largest? Which has the largest tens? Well, the 476 has the largest, doesn't it? So that means the 452 is the one in between. Okay? So this is the smallest, this is in between, and that's the largest. Now, it says Emma has fewer pennies than Tala. So if Emma has fewer than Tala, can she have the most? Well, no, that can't be Emma because she has to have fewer than Tala. That means Tala has more than her. So we know the 476 is not Emma. The next clue says that Tala has more pennies than Bob. Well, if Tala has more pennies than Bob, then that means Tala has more than Emma and more than Bob. See? Because Emma has fewer than Tala, that means Tala has more. Does that make sense? So if Tala has more than Emma and more than Bob, 
She's gotten more than both of them. So Tala must have the most. Do you see how I got that? They both have, Emma and Bob, both have fewer than Tala, and there's only three numbers. That means Tala must have the most. So we know that one is Tala. That's the biggest number. It also says that Bob has fewer than Emma. Well, we've got two people left and two numbers, but Bob is fewer than Emma. So could Bob be 452? No, because that's more than 401, and Bob has fewer than Emma. If Bob has fewer than Emma, then he has to have 401, doesn't he? He has to have less than Emma. And that means Emma has the 452. So we were able to match them, see? So we were able to think and use the clues and the words to figure out who had more and who had less. And you could turn it around. If it says Emma has fewer than Tala, that means Tala has more than Emma, see? Going this way, we're saying she has fewer, but if we go this way, Tala has more than Emma. See how that works? She also had more than Bob. So she had more than the two other people, so she had to have the most. All right? So we can put numbers in order before, between, or after and use them in counting order. And they don't even have to be in counting order, do they? We could put them in order from least to greatest, even if they're not in counting order. We just compare the hundreds, the tens, and the ones to see which one goes where, okay? Keep trying, I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next video. Bye.